Hey, what's up guys, my name is Firestorm, and welcome to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about recruiting characters from 5 and 3 houses, because this is the last day of RPG Makers... Or, wait, no, 3 houses MV on my channel. So, recruiting characters in 3 houses is not like normal Fire Emblem standards, in which you need you typically need a blend of certain stats and a certain weapon level, but since we can't recreate weapon levels, or we could, it took a long time though, we're gonna use skills instead. And it should be quite fun because, well, I'll explain the video. And also this might be pretty late, I'm gonna upload this on December 1st, which is uh, not in November, like I promised. Anyways, let's get started. I think the first thing we're gonna do is go over skills because uh, we're gonna need some context for all of this. And also go over the stats because that's also pretty important. Our skills are simply sort of rank E, D, and C, and okay, nothing happens besides that is pretty normal by normal standards. But another thing to note here is how much attack that Rune Fire has because in in synergy with how much attack Rune Fire will have. Will, de will determine how much of the skill type he needs. So, so we have E, D, and C. If you want to recruit the character we want, which is in this case Therese, we need 30 attack with sword rank D, or 15 attack with sword rank C. So our example will be using level 1, which has 8 attack, level 7, which has 24 attack, Level 13, which is 31 attack. All right, now it's time to go over the eventing. So we have this priest here who's basically gonna change our weapon level. We're gonna start weapon level E, and then we can either increase or decrease. Obviously, if you're at E, you can't decrease anymore. And if you're at C, you can't increase anymore in this scenario. So if Runefire has learned sword rank E and choose increase, you'll get to rank D and lose sword rank E. And it'll say what you attain. And again, if you get to C, you cannot increase anymore. Same deal with decrease, if you get to uh, get to E, you cannot decrease it anymore. Then we have this cleric who's going to change our level from 1, 7, 13, because for the scenario, these are the only ones that matter, because when you're level 1, you'll have less than 15 attack, when you're level 7, you'll have more than 15 attack, but less than 30. And when you're level 30, I mean, when you're level 13, you're going to have more than 30. So if you're level 1, you'll gain 6 levels, and your level will be 7, as stated here. If your level is 7, you'll gain 6 levels and it'll be 13, and if you're level 13, you'll drop 12 to be level 1. Now Therese is who we're going to be recruiting, and she's going to need a blend of a high enough weapon level and a particular attack stat. So we can either choose to recruit or leave. If we leave, nothing happens, we just leave her be. We're going to control the variable 45 to equal to the attack of rune fire, so we can check this during the eventing. Its stat value is greater than 30, so for level 13, and Runefire has learned Sorbrink D, she'll ask if she wants to be in your party, if she can join your party at least. You'll say accept or refuse, if you refuse, nothing will happen, if you accept, turn to self switch A to on, so that you can hide Therese, uh, add the actual party member, and uh, it'll show a text message. I should edit that, actually. However, if you don't have greater than 30, Actually, uh, yeah, if you don't have greater than- oh, no, 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 If you have rank- so this- this only applies for- this conditional rank only applies for rank D. However, it should also accommodate for if Runefire has rank C, because, well, C is higher than D, and you just need at least D rank to, uh, recruit her. Basically the same thing, just copy and paste. Uh, however, if none of these apply, if Runefire has rank C, has sword, has sword rank C, and stat value is greater than 15, well, that'll be, that'll be, uh, tolerable. I mean, acceptable, acceptable. And, uh, she will ask to join your group, same thing applies, for the rest of the eventing. I don't believe, yeah, there's no point of putting any other additional conditional branches as we did here, because this one, you need, you need at least a D rank, however this one, is just a C rank, and since there's nothing higher in the scenario, there's no need to put anything else. All right, it's time for the demonstration, as per usual. Let's get into the game. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is check our stats. We're level one and have sword rank E by default. Now we can't actually recruit Therese 
at this moment in time, and we're gonna increase our weapon level to uh, Silver Rink D. We're gonna increase it one more time because uh, I'm pretty sure it's C and 15, so that's level 7. So since we have C rank and we're level 7, which we have 24 attack, we can probably recruit her. However, we're gonna refuse so that we can demonstrate everything else. We have Sword Rank C, so if we so if we decrease the Sword Rank D, we won't be able to recruit her. However, going to level 13, we have 31 attack, which is greater than 30. And again, we also have Sword Rank D. We should be able to recruit her. Refuse again. However, this time we're going to increase our weapon level to Rank C. If we didn't make that additional conditional branch, this wouldn't be able to happen, so... It'd just be broken at that point. It, it wouldn't work properly unless you had the specific rank, and that's not preferable. So we're gonna accept her request, and uh, she joins our party. And with that, I forgot her name is Harold. Wait, no, her name is not Harold. Her class is named Harold because I forgot to change it because I was making a different tutorial. Anyways, that's it, is it? That is it for this demonstration. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's very simple tutorial. Definitely a good break from last time where it was 14 minutes long. Uh, as to my channel, I wanna explain what, what's gonna happen with my channel now. Um, I just finished Let's Play number four, which means uh, I could continue with Let's Play number five. However, it's not gonna be completed until after 2020, so it won't appear in the highlights. I might make an update video on this because I don't think anyone's, everyone's gonna watch my tutorial video. So uh, please consider dual slashing that subscribe button. Actually, I think I said the wrong one. Uh, please consider dual slashing that like button and setting ablaze that subscription button. And uh, yeah, see you guys and stay safe.